hello welcome to my channel today we are going to be making a delightful homemade meat pies so we have three steps to this first is the making of the dough second is the making of the meat filling and the third step will be to assemble them and bake so let's dive into it ingredients for the dough are 3 cups of all purpose flour, half cup butter, half teaspoon of salt, one egg, and two tablespoons of cold water. And ingredients for the meat filling are about 300 grams of beef, one small onion, finely chopped. 1 cup diced Irish potatoes, 2 teaspoons minced spices and salt to taste. And so I'll be starting with my dough. In a large mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour and baking powder and your salt, which is optional. Add the butter and use your hands like i did to work the butter into the floor until you get a crumbly texture like this make a well in the middle and add the egg and cold water a tablespoon at a time and mix until the dough comes together. Be careful not to over mix. Just knead a little, a little until the dough comes together. If not, you are getting a hard meat pie and nobody wants that, right? When it has come together like this, wrap the dough in a plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. And now coming to our meat pie filling. In a pan, heat about a tablespoon of oil over medium high heat. Add the chopped onions and saute until the onions become translucent in nature. Add the minced spices. I love to fry my spices. I just feel it gives me a better result that way. Add the ground meat and cook until it turns brown like this. Breaking it up with your spatula as it cooks. Add the diced potatoes and your vegetables. Continue to cook for a few more minutes until everything is well cooked. And so guys, I need one tablespoon of cornstarch Meet half cup of water and add it. In order to get the moisture we need, no one wants their meat pie dry. When it thickens like this, Remove the pan from the heat and let the meat filling cool completely. And now that our dough is ready and our meat filling as well, on a clean surface, cut the dough into your preferred number of pieces. Roll out the dough one after the other to your preferred thickness.
place it on your pie cutter and if you don't have a pie cutter just feel free to use a round plate it's still okay to use a round plate or a lathe so but since i have a pie cutter i'll be using a pie cutter place it on your pie cutter and then place about two tablespoons of the meat filling onto the cut out circle leaving some space around the edges then apply the egg around the edges to ensure it seals perfectly well With the meat cutter, press the edges together to seal the pie, giving it that beautiful half moon shape we love to see. I, everybody loves to see that shape. So guys, the dough does not have to be super smooth, okay? If it is like this, as see if it is peeling off as you roll it is very okay it should it just shows that you will get a fleck in it by because you did not need too much after you have everything wrapped and well arranged Place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Brush them with an egg. Assemble everything. With a fork, make small holes on the top of each pie to allow steam to escape during baking. Bake in the preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes or until they turn golden brown. Remove the pies from the oven and let them cool for a few minutes before serving. These homemade meat pies are perfect as a snack or served with a drink for a complete meal. Now you know how to make a delicious and comforting homemade meat pies that will quench your meat pie craving. So, get your apron on and give this recipe a try don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more mouth watering recipes happy baking